Hey y'all, Irix guy here. Now, if you're not aware, Final Cut Pro version 10.2. That's Final Cut Pro 10 version 10.2 is now available for download. Obviously, if you've purchased it, it's a uh, it's a free update for your Final Cut Pro 10. Now, I updated to it, and I did want to call out a few things, and and I haven't really exhaustively used it yet. Uh, but just to give you a quick uh, high level summary of what I've found with it so far. Number one, like most Apple installations, the uh, the update was very seamless. Now, when I opened my libraries that I had before the update in Final Cut Pro 10, I had to uh, hit accept so that it would update the libraries to be compatible with version 10.2. Um, that was a very streamlined process, did not encounter any problems. Uh, what I have noticed so far is that it does seem to be a little bit faster. Now, I'm using an iMac with Retina 5K display, but it seems to be a little bit faster. And something else that was cool, for my Sony FDR-AX100 camcorder, that's one of my 4K camcorders, it now automatically, when I plug it into the USB, it now automatically brings up the, uh, if Final Cut Pro 10's running, it brings up the import option. It recognizes the camera. It did not do that with the previous version with this camera. I had to go in and browse to the uh, uh, to the video folder on the camera to. I mean, it wasn't an issue, but I had to drag in the videos. But now it's like it uh, it really likes the AX100. It's just like, okay, you powered it on. You got it plugged into USB. I'm going to let you download uh, import those videos. So that's pretty cool. Um, Something else that you will notice that I thought was a really nice addition is the uh, is the 3D titles, and it's got 3D cinematic titles, and they've got one where it's like you're up in space, and the Earth's down below, and it looks really cool. So th those are neat. What I would like to have seen, and, and this is something maybe they're going to do soon, but I would love to see Apple release more royalty-free music, more royalty-free sound effects. Or maybe Apple released something that cost an insignificant amount of money, five or ten bucks, where you can purchase it from the App Store and have a lot more royalty-free music to use. Because if you're like me, you're using Final Cut Pro 10 primarily for YouTube, and you want to have that royalty-free music. Now, YouTube Content Creator Audio Library is great. I use that almost exclusively now, but it would be great to uh, <clears throat> it would be great to have some other options as well. But would I update to Final Cut Pro 10.2 without hesitation again? Most definitely. Now granted I've only been using it for a day but so far I haven't encountered any issues and I had about five uh, five libraries that were updated when I uh, when I installed the 10.2 update from the App Store. So it was, a, it was a good experience for me. Tell me what you think. Have you updated to uh, Final Cut Pro 10? Uh, Final Cut Pro 10 version 10.2 and if so what was your experience? I want to put this video out there because I want to get the conversation going on youtube.com forward slash irixguy. Uh, thanks for your viewership and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and share this video and any of my videos with others. Oh and check out my newsletter. Uh, if you go to irixguy.com you can sign up and I'll put out a uh, newsletter periodically. I think it's something you may enjoy. Y'all have a good day.